everyone welcome to this uh, stoichiometry practice problem part two the question goes like this and as we know this these are not just questions these are the concepts and nearby concepts also are covered peripheral ancillary concepts also will be covered in the video so it is very important video just don't see that this is the solution of the question it is many more things more you will learn in this video question goes like this for an ideal gas whose mass is 20 gram only sulfur oxygen is the part of the gas and the volume of that particular gas is 5.6 liter Pressure is 1 atm and temperature is 273 Kelvin. So the question is find out molecular weight of gas. There can be multiple approaches for this. So one simple approach is uh, we can say I can use PV equals nRT. So using PV equals nRT, we know P's value is given, 1 atmosphere, V is 5.6, we can use the value. P is 1, V is 5.6, N is unknown, R is 0 0.0821, T is 273, and you can just multiply these two numbers. This number, please remember, this is 22.4, okay? And this condition, when P is 1, N, T is 273, I repeat, when P is 1, N, T is 273, this is, has a special name called NTP. Though we write STP also in this place, but NTP is more logical. We can say NTP or STP condition because we are very, very close numbers, right? So we can say, this is NTP or STP condition and how much will be the number? So if you multiply, uh, we can say, one mole of any gas at NTP will have 22.4 liters as the volume, but you have only 5.6 liters, which is a one-fourth number. Can you just check? That 5.6 is one fourth. So these 5.6, 11.2, 44.8, these numbers we should be familiar with. So is this we can say this is one fourth moles. Hence, we have how many moles right now with us? Only just one by fourth mole. And one fourth mole has how much mass? We have 20 grams. So the question is find out molecular weight. What is molecular weight? Molecular weight is mass of one mole of gas. So what is the answer? It will be four times 20. So answer anyway we got. That's not very important thing. 80 grams. Per mole, and you can also predict with gas it could be. It can be SO3, which is 32 plus 3 times 16, which is 48. So total will be 80, right? That we know. But see, we can use this method also. We can say PV equals NRT. Number of moles will come how much? It will come 1 by 4 this way. And then you can say number of moles are 1 by 4. Hence, we can get the corresponding result. That 1 by 4 moles, you have the mass 20 grams. So for 1 mole, what is the mass? 80 grams. That, that will also get the answer. But this is longer way, right? So we should, if it is better that we know that PV, NRT, if P and T are special values, why not we use it directly? So if somebody asks me a question next time, 44.8 liters, so we should simply say we have two moles. So if two moles are equal to 20 grams and one mole, we can also solve 10 grams. And we can solve question very, very fast. This will save a lot of time. One more thing we can learn here is PV equals NRT can also be written as PV equals W by MRT, which is weight by molecular weight. Now send volume other side, it becomes W by V RT by M. What is the unit of W? Grams. What is the unit of volume? Liters. So this is grams per liter. And what is W by V called? It is basically density. If you understand it is density. So you can use word density in place of this and write RT by M. So P comes DRT by M. And what about density at NTP? When P is 1, when T is 273 and R is a constant, you know, 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere liter atmosphere per mole per kelvin this is the unit okay for r if you use the value 0 0.0821 and the multiplication of this number is how much we have done it earlier it is 2.4 so if you just put all these things together i hope you can end up with this particular result where it is written molecular weight of gas in gram per mole is equal to density of gas in gram per liter into 2.4 so if somebody gives you next time a question density of gas is x gram per liter, find out molecular weight, you can simply say x into 2.4 is your answer. I hope you understood this question also and you can try any such question of this type with the help of this video. Keep liking, subscribing and sharing. Thank you very much.